side of the story with you. I want to move on with my life. Enough is enough. Michael, stay in with Colby. You wasted seven That's years and you're 35 and I'm 58. I didn't waste no years, did I? Welcome back. Angela Dean, known for her controversial presence on 90 Day Fiancé, has found herself in even deeper trouble. Sources reveal that she recently fled her home when law enforcement officers arrived with the intent to arrest her on charges related to the abuse of her ex-husband, Michael Ilisanmi, and substance-related offenses. Reports indicate that Angela is now facing a lawsuit stemming from the mistreatment and alleged physical and emotional abuse of Michael, along with other charges tied to her suspected substance abuse. The situation appears dire for Angela, as the mounting evidence against her, including Michael's own testimony, suggests that her arrest is almost inevitable. The charges against Angela paint a troubling picture of a woman spiraling out of control, unable to manage her emotions or substance use. It is alleged that whenever Angela consumed certain substances, her behavior would become erratic and violent. Witnesses close to the couple have reported that during these episodes, Angela would become uncontrollably wild, verbally attacking Michael, and in some instances, threatening physical harm. On more than one occasion, it is said that she threatened to stab him in fits of rage, leaving Michael in constant fear for his safety. The recent incident that has drawn law enforcement attention began when officers arrived at Angela's house to investigate claims related to Michael's case. According to sources, Angela, upon seeing the police at her door, panicked and fled through the back of the house, making a frantic dash to evade arrest. Neighbors reportedly saw her running through nearby yards, looking disheveled and erratic. The sighting sparked immediate concern among the community, who were already aware of Angela's volatile reputation. Angela's flight from the police has only intensified suspicions regarding her guilt and raised questions about her state of mind and the extent of her involvement in the alleged abuse. The police were left baffled by Angela's sudden disappearance, and a search was quickly initiated to locate her. Her unexpected flight has complicated the investigation, prompting authorities to issue a warrant for her arrest. In the meantime, they have collected substantial evidence that suggests a history of abusive behavior and substance use, which further supports Michael's claims. The evidence includes witness testimonies, photographs, and medical records that document the injuries Michael sustained during their marriage. This growing body of evidence makes it increasingly likely that Angela will face significant legal consequences once she is apprehended. Michael, who has remained relatively quiet about the details of his suffering until now, has decided to take legal action against Angela. In a recent statement to his lawyers, Michael provided a detailed account of the abuse he endured during his marriage to Angela. He described numerous incidents where Angela, under the influence of substances, would become violent and unpredictable. He recalled moments when she would scream at him for hours, throwing objects around the house and making threats that left him fearing for his life. Michael's decision to come forward with this information marks a turning point in his quest for justice and closure. One particularly harrowing incident that Michael recounted involved Angela threatening to stab him with a kitchen knife. He described how she cornered him in the kitchen, waving the knife menacingly, her eyes wild with fury. In that moment, Michael genuinely feared that she might follow through on her threat. This was not the first time Angela had threatened him with violence, but it was one of the most terrifying. Michael said he felt trapped, unable to leave the house or seek help due to Angela's unpredictable nature. It was moments like these that convinced him he could no longer stay in such a dangerous environment. Michael's evidence has been a critical component in building the case against Angela. His willingness to speak openly about his experiences has not only strengthened the lawsuit, but has also encouraged others who may have witnessed Angela's behavior to come forward. I honestly don't care about Angela's opinion. I mean, she's always treated this man as some trash, try to isolate him from others. Several former friends and acquaintances of Angela have since provided statements corroborating Michael's claims, painting a picture of a woman who was often out of control and who used substances to fuel her anger and aggression. Angela's issues with substance abuse have been an open secret among those who know her well. For years, her erratic behavior and sudden mood swings have been attributed to her frequent consumption of alcohol and other substances. Those close to Angela have described how she would often drink heavily, even during the daytime, and how her personality would change drastically once she was under the influence. 
What started as casual drinking soon escalated into something much more dangerous and uncontrolled, with Angela turning to stronger substances that amplified her aggression and paranoia. Friends of Angela have noted that her drinking habits began to spiral out of control after her relationship with Michael started to deteriorate. Feeling insecure and jealous, Angela reportedly began drinking more heavily to cope with her emotions. But instead of calming her, the alcohol seemed to ignite her anger. It wasn't long before Angela began experimenting with other substances, seeking a stronger high to numb the pain of her failing marriage and growing isolation. Her dependency on these substances became evident in her frequent outbursts, irrational decisions, and erratic behavior both on and off screen. On the nights when Angela was particularly intoxicated, witnesses say she would become almost unrecognizable. Her eyes would glaze over, and she would often slur her words, but her anger and aggression would remain sharp. These nights were often marked by screaming matches with Michael, who tried to placate her in vain. The louder and more violent Angela became, the more afraid Michael grew. The escalation in Angela's behavior coincided with her increasing substance use, making their home life a constant minefield of unpredictability and fear. Michael's mental health took a severe hit due to Angela's constant abuse and erratic behavior. He lived in a state of hypervigilance, never knowing when Angela might lash out next. This constant tension left Michael feeling anxious and depressed, as he tried to navigate a relationship that felt more like a battle than a partnership. Michael's friends observed how his once cheerful and optimistic demeanor began to change. He became withdrawn and quiet, often avoiding social gatherings or situations where he might have to explain Angela's behavior. He has spoken about the psychological toll that Angela's behavior took on him, describing how he would often lie awake at night, replaying the day's events in his mind, wondering what he could have done differently to avoid triggering her anger. The fear and anxiety became a constant presence, weighing heavily on his mind and body. Michael began to suffer from panic attacks, moments when he felt he couldn't breathe, his heart racing as if he were running from danger. These episodes left him exhausted, both physically and emotionally, and it became clear that he needed to make a change for his own well-being. Angela's erratic behavior has sparked outrage and concern within the 90 Day Fiancé community and beyond. Fans of the show, who had once been divided in their opinions of Angela, now largely condemn her actions. Social media has been flooded with calls for justice for Michael, with many expressing shock and disbelief at the extent of Angela's abusive behavior. Former friends of Angela have also begun to distance themselves from her, stating that they were unaware of the full extent of her behavior, but can no longer support her actions. In her hometown, Angela's reputation has taken a significant hit. Once seen as a brash but entertaining personality, she is now viewed with suspicion and disdain. Her neighbors have reported feeling uncomfortable around her, especially in light of the recent allegations. Some have even claimed that they have witnessed Angela's erratic behavior firsthand, noting that they often heard loud arguments coming from her house and saw her behaving strangely in public. The community is beginning to rally around Michael, showing support for his decision to speak out and pursue legal action. The legal troubles Angela now faces are serious and could have lasting consequences on her life and career. The charges against her are numerous, ranging from domestic abuse to substance-related offenses. The evidence collected by the police, combined with Michael's detailed account and witness testimonies, paints a grim picture for Angela. If convicted, she could face substantial fines, probation, or even jail time. Her legal team is reportedly scrambling to mount a defense, but the overwhelming evidence against her makes it clear that Angela is in a precarious position. Her recent attempt to evade the police has only made matters worse, signaling a possible admission of guilt and further complicating her legal standing. The authorities are now working diligently to locate Angela, who remains in hiding. As they continue to gather more evidence and testimonies, the case against her grows stronger. Angela's failure to cooperate with law enforcement may lead to additional charges, such as resisting arrest, which could increase the severity of her punishment. For Michael, the decision to press charges against Angela marks the beginning of a new chapter. He has expressed a deep sense of relief at finally being able to speak his truth and hold Angela accountable for her actions. While the road ahead is not without challenges, Michael is determined to move forward with his life, free from the fear and manipulation that defined his relationship with Angela. He has begun seeking therapy to help process the trauma he experienced, and he is focusing on rebuilding his life, one step at a time. Michael's friends have noticed a positive change in him since he decided to take legal action.
They describe him as being more confident, more assertive, and more at peace with himself. He has reconnected with his family and loved ones, who've been a source of strength and support throughout this difficult period. Thank you for watching.